to take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but... It just hasn't felt this... this shitty in a while. He was a great guy. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Always does. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. Be careful. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, alright? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. Daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean some bitch, but he taught me respect. Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. We're all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. So close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now, those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's gotta be something out here other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I've never been there. I went once, long time ago, just before I met Cap. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! We'll get it working. 
We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Need any help? I'm fine. Go check on AJ. Wish they'd finished this place. Looks like it's about to collapse. Looks broken. Busted. Want one? Sure. <coughs> huh. Do you remember when you saw me first? Back at the lodge? I felt real bad you believed me. She can't hurt anyone. You ever done something you regret? Even if it's something you knew you had to do? Go on. All the time. Yeah. You know... I'll say one thing about Luke. No matter where you end up, there's always one bad seed rocking the boat. But I don't think he would have ever been that guy. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? I don't really know what I want. Maybe I ought to start thinking about it. You know, I've been all over. Run with a lot of people. A lot of men. And listen to a lot of promises. Ain't one of them come true. I'm starting to think there might be another way, you know? I'm gonna go take a piss. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch! Oh, damn it. He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. 
And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. <coughs> We can still make this work. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <coughs> it puked! It puked! Gross. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway. The dick got stuck under a car, hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. They had to try, right? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... she was just staring up at the sky, like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. It works? what I tell you? So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry, we did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arvo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. Just walk away from us!
You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. Well, why can't we just leave tomorrow? Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem. Think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. This is different. How? Where are we gonna find baby formula? I don't know, but sitting around here ain't a way. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What do you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. And that we should keep moving. I think you're right. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look. I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. I, I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clown. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. We're just leaving. Keep it down, all right? Nobody else has to get involved. That's everything we have. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem, okay? Who? 
Kenny? Clem, damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Just... Just be quiet, Clem, please. Just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. When I was a kid, I never got sick, but my brother always had something. I always thought he was faking it. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. He didn't mean it. did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Because of her dad? Yeah. Clem. People don't always make sense. How come? As bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. What do you think? Should we have left her behind? I don't know. <sighs> I don't either. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't a right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Uh, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes... That means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I do you to make it better? That it'll be okay? It will. It's gonna get better, Clem. You'll make it better. Everything's gonna be all right.
Now let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. Passed out from the shock. We've been worried as hell. Where are we? Been driving a few hours now. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. Is Bonnie okay? They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. And it was overrun by a damn herd. The walkers should be gone by now. It's miles in the other direction. Wellington's out there. We have to keep looking, Jane. Clem, you can't be falling for this. She made up her mind, Jane. Clem, please. This is suicide. Why don't you let her think for herself for once? Why don't you? Me? Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what. We can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Don't you fucking talk about them! This isn't the time for this. No, this is exactly the time for this. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita got bit, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. I got this way, saving your ass from that hellhole. And I would have left you to rot if I'd known what you were. Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We, we all wanted to be together, and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Jesus. <laughs> You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, 
You all right? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny! God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. Stop making him mad. Everything makes him mad. How are you not seeing that? Well, all you're doing is just making it worse. You're just like him. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck! Get us out of here! I don't know how to drive! See that pedal on the floor? Step on it! Don't just sit there! Jesus! Wait! <laughs> 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 
Kenny. You all right? Yeah. Where is he? Where's the kid? He's with her. You left him with her? Jane? Jane! Wait. Oh, thank Christ. Jane, you okay? Where's the kid? Jane, where is he? Again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Just trust me, Clem. Stay out of what? You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. Here, Clem. Now! Get out of my way. Kenny? How could you kill a fucking child? I didn't kill him! It was an oh, accident, shit. Kenny! I won't back down from you, Kenny. Shut up! I'm warning you. We can't kill each other. Not after all this. We're all that's left. Stay out of this, Clem. Clem, stay back. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Kenny! Get the fuck up! Fuck you! Dog, please! <laughs> Kill her, Kenny. I'm sorry, darling, but I did. Go! 
I'm right behind you. you out of my sights again. That's a promise. And then you... You didn't have to kill her. You didn't have to kill Jane. It was me or her, Clem. She was trying to kill me, too. If she hadn't lied about Alvin here, it wouldn't have went that far. I just... Why would she... She was nuts, Clem. A disturbed person that had her own agenda and was looking out for herself. All right, buddy. Hey, listen. I didn't want that to happen either. I thought she killed Alvy Clem, and at any point she could have stopped what was happening by saying he was fine. She wanted a fight. I never, ever hurt you. You understand? I was protecting you. You believe me, right? Just imagining what she did to Alvy. Everything just went black. By the time I got my head straight, it was too late. We were already at each other's throats. I... I believe you. Okay. Thanks. Come on. Let's put some miles between us and this place. Just a little further. We're almost there. I sure hope that's a cook fire. Oh, we could use a hot meal right about now. Might be all I need. Come on. I'll race you to the top. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Come on, Alvy. We got this. You cheated. Holy shit. We did it, Clem. That's... That's gotta be it. I... <laughs> I can't believe we found it. It's about time. You were telling me. What are we waiting for? Come on. This one's gonna be the one. Look at those walls. Finally feel safe, Clem. Be able to sleep at night. That's far enough. Just stay still, Clem. Do as she says. Put your hands up, Clem. Drop your weapons. Just a couple of people at the front gate. They don't look like trouble. Sounds good. Hi, I'm Edith. Name's Kenny, and this here's Clementine. Hello. Oh, what a handsome boy. Look at him. What's his name? Alvin, Junior. Oh, he's gonna be a little heartbreaker when he grows up. Is there someone named Krista in there? I don't think so, dear. 
So, this is Wellington, right? A lot of people call it that. Okay, so what do we do to get in? Well, I'm afraid this is the part where I give you the bad news. The hell's this? That's some supplies. Food, water, what? some medicine, a first aid kit. Why are kit. you giving us this? Unfortunately, our community isn't accepting new members. We're over capacity as it is, and there's just not enough to go around if we keep bringing people in. Things might change in you a few months. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm sorry. I really am. So we're supposed to just take this and go? But, but we have a baby. This, this is hard for me too. I don't want to turn anyone away, especially children. But... Just take the kids! What? Please! Just take the kids! It's too dangerous out here for them! Kenny, I... It's just a little girl and a baby boy! You can make room for that! You can take back the supplies you gave us if that helps! Please, just... I need them to be safe. And it's safe in there. I know that. Just ask someone, please. They won't make it out here. Please! Well... I'll ask. Just give me a second. <sighs> you don't need to look at me like that. This is for the best. We're not staying here without you. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Yes, you are! It's safe here. You two will be safe. That's what's important now. We can take the children, but just the children. I made the case that... Thank you. Thank you. Listen, okay? Listen. This is your chance for you and this boy. I don't trust myself to keep you two safe. Not anymore. Please, I'm begging you. Please, stay here. Stay here where it's safe. Where you two will have a chance. No, no, no! Why are you doing this? Because it's the only way for both of you. The thing about Alvy here. Please, Clem, just do as I'm asking. This one last time. You'll meet people. You'll make friends. People better than me. Good people. They, they don't have to look at you and feel ashamed at what they put you through. Please, Clem, please. Where you won't have to sleep with a gun next to you every night. Where you can be a kid for a while. No! We're leaving! All of us! Together! Clem, please. It's safe here. You need to Stop. think about the... Stop! Okay? We're not staying, so just stop! That's that. Sounds like... Sounds like she means business. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Come on. We're leaving. I'm only supposed to give out one per group, but... Look. If you're in the area, check back in a few months. We might be accepting people then. Thank you for the help. And, uh... Sorry for the language. Well, it's a shitty situation. We're all doing the best we can. You all stay safe out there. You're as stubborn as a damn mule. Yeah? Wonder where I got that from. <laughs>